we can all attest it's the coldest day of the year here in this studio. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we don't have a heater in here. People don't know that. The lights are supposed to keep us warm. They're supposed to keep us warm. They're supposed to keep us warm. Not working. No, in, in January, oftentimes it doesn't. Uh, temperatures were obviously a cold this morning, but some clouds that came in overnight. We talked about it last mm -hmm. night. They were down around San Antonio. They did make it in, did insulate us just a little bit and keep it from being, you know, excessively cold. Those clouds were visible at sunrise this morning. One of our viewers, uh, Marion Kirchnick, sent us this picture from uh, an Austin sunrise this morning. You can see the clouds there in the sky. Now, it was even colder out in the hill country. Take a look. Another one of our viewers, thank you, uh, Debbie uh, Dennis from out there in Cherry Spring. That's out in uh, western Gillespie County. Look at that front frozen fountain this morning. Uh, you can send us your photos of the weather anytime. It's to report it at kxan.com. You can also use the report it feature on your cell phone, particularly iPhone. Although I think we've got a Droid app too, don't we? Blackberry too, maybe? I don't know. I think so. I should, I should know that. Uh, yes, we do. Any, any device you have, you can send it to, uh, using your reported feature. All right. Today, uh, despite uh, the uh, temperatures this morning starting off in the uh, upper 20s, a little bit above where we thought we might be, we didn't make it out of the 30s. Upper 30s, the best we could do today. 59, the normal high temperature. And there were readings this morning, even in the metro area, as cold as the upper teens. And we're still cloudy out there, and that's not going to change. We may not see the sun again, at least any significant sunshine, until next Monday. Day. Possibly Sunday, but it looks a little more likely Monday, Martin Luther King Jr. holiday. 38 degrees is where we are now. Uh, 35 at 8 o'clock and 10 o'clock tonight, just above freezing at 33. Temperatures across the area, all in the 30s with the exception of LaGrange. It's 41 degrees. It's 38 in the city. Uh, 38 degrees also at ABI. ABI. Notice how cold, uh, how low I should say the uh, dew points are. That tells you that the air is very dry. That'll come into play in just a minute when we're talking about an approaching system. I'll tell you more then. 5 to 10 mile per hour winds now out of the north to northeast. Mole count and cedar count today were medium. Have no reason to believe that should be uh, much different really tomorrow, so we'll keep them the medium in that allergy forecast. Around the state, uh, 27 Edmond above freezing in Amarillo or Lubbock all day long or Dallas, uh, 48 in Houston, 40 in San Antonio. There's a little disturbance. You can see it right there coming out of New Mexico tonight. If we were more moist down low, we might see a snow flurry even come out of this thing, but we don't think that is going to happen because the air is just too dry. So that disturbance will track across the state tonight. But we're going to stay cloudy because another low is going to develop back here. This next one is going to move across the state this weekend. Could it bring us a wet weekend? We are thinking that is a possibility. In fact, we could begin to see a little bit of a light rain in our area by Friday. It'll be warmer, though. The clouds will keep it cold one more day tomorrow. Then that warmer, moist air will begin coming up on Friday. Maybe some patchy light rain, and then we think that there will be not only warmer weather, but a chance of some fog and drizzle and light rain in here by Friday night or Saturday morning. Okay, lows tonight. You should be a little bit above where you were last night because the clouds are going to stay in the sky all night long. And then tomorrow, uh, maybe where we were today, a little bit warmer, maybe a couple of degrees at best. Okay, tonight, 29. We're going to stay cloudy. Tomorrow, let's go 43. And we're going to stay cloudy. And on the seven-day forecast, uh, let's take it to 53 on Friday, 55 on Saturday. But notice the rain chances go up. This may not be that great of a weekend, even though it will be warmer. It could be occasionally wet, maybe a little foggy, too. The holiday on Monday is looking pretty good.